Hello everyone, uh, this video uh, I'm going to explain to you uh, the difference between uh, these and these numbers 5W20, 10W30, 0W20. Um, of course, there are other uh, grades like there are 1040 and there is a 530 and there is um, 0W40, full synthetic, um, conventional. Uh, I'm not going to get into a lot of technical uh, terms today. I'm just going to explain it very uh, in a very simple way. I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to fill this with oil, and you're going to notice how fast they're going to drop and converge into each other. 1030, 520, and uh, 020. And also, I'm going to use the uh, those uh, steel balls back there. Um, this came out of uh, uh, wheel bearing. So they are very much the, the balls inside the bearing. Um, also, I'm going to show you how this is behave um, in extreme weather. I have um, the oil, this oil here, I have it in a cans. I have it, this is at uh, normal temperature right now. And I have one that has been a free, in a freezer for about a week. I'm going to show you um, how it, uh, how fast it moves through the this funnel here and this is very much it gives you an idea in difference in viscosity uh, let me just show you the one I have in uh, in the freezer so here is my uh, oil it's, uh, here is a 1030 520 and uh, and 020 the temperature now um, it's minus 11 degrees Fahrenheit inside here. This these been sitting in uh, in the freezer for almost a week. I'm gonna use this bottom inside the uh, in the funnel and do the the ball bearing uh, experiment. Bear with me. So of course there is a big uh, difference between uh, full synthetic oil and uh, conventional oil. Uh, in general terms, the uh, full synthetic oil very much won't break. The particles in it stays intact together uh, under different un under different uh, weather condition or uh, temperature condition. Uh, also, full synthetic oil it is different than blend synthetic. Okay, full synthetic different than a blend synthetic, different than conventional oil. So full synthetic very much is resist oxidation and uh, chemical degradation. Uh, also flows better at low temperature, that's important. And yes, it is better than conventional oil. It lasts much, much, much longer than conventional oil. Uh, in simple explanation, the smaller this number, the thinner the oil. And uh, so you can see five or uh, zero, you see 10. So the smaller the number, the thinner the oil, the lighter the oil, the faster it flows. W means winter. So you could see there's these two different numbers. There's a dash here, so it's five W. This is, this is winter uh, viscosity uh, test. So five, it's uh, higher than zero. Uh, 10 is higher than five and, and zero and etc. So, and as you see here, if it's 5W20, I see it's 0W20 uh, on this one here. Uh, those 20 at 20, they behave the same thing at normal operating temperature, which means when the engine running hot, we're around 212 Fahrenheit degrees, it is very much, they, they behave the same thing, they act the same thing. They have the same viscosity at normal operating temperature. <coughs> So the only difference, like I said, it's five and the zero. This is lighter, slightly lighter than five. So the more, the colder the temperature, the better the zero W20. I'm not telling you to use zero W20 versus five twenty by synthetic. Just saying, follow the manufacturer recommendation for your vehicle. Of course, if it has high mileage and needs heavier oil, if it has, uh, um, if you live in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a extreme weather cold like very cold area you're probably most likely gonna need lower uh, viscosity 
So when you start the engine, uh, the whole engine gets uh, oil. Uh, all the engines lubricated faster than um, there's like the 10 W or 20 W. Uh, it's very much the same. So again, uh, 5 W. This is winter. 20 is the operating temperature. Okay, the difference between the 0, 20, and 5, 20, and 10, 30, uh, if you look at the first number, it is very much its, its behavior or the oil viscosity at cold extreme weather. But both have the same 20 and 20. If the last number all the same, they, they're very much the same oil at the higher temperature or, the, or at the normal operating temperature. Um, Again, like I said, as I said, you have to use the um, whatever the manufacturer is telling you to use for your car. Uh, I'm not trying to advertise for any company. I use different brands. Uh, at this, uh, in this case, I'm just using this for demonstration. It's not necessarily I'm recommending this or I'm telling you to use Castrol to use Mobile One. It's your choice. It's whatever the manufacturer is telling you to use, whatever you feel comfortable. It makes sense. To your car just use it all right so uh, whether stb bronto this is just something generic i use uh, whenever uh, uh, i have a customer who has wants this or on that that's it's a choice so you don't have to um, just buy these what i'm showing you right here keep in mind most of cars these days uh, they have uh, the engine has a lot of parts, and most of these parts are very small. They have uh, small lifters, small uh, rocker arms, uh, small valves, a lot of, lot of parts. They're very small, and there's too many of them. In the past, if you have a four-cylinder engine, you're very much having it, 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 four pistons, eight valve. Today, you have four valves on each piston. Each cylinder has four, two intake and two exhaust. And, and they are getting smaller and smaller, like uh, a, a, a dime size or, or, or a little bigger. So they require a lot of attention uh, for the oil delivery, especially when the engine is cold. So many parts, they need a lot of oil. And remember, the oil goes from the bottom of the engine, from the oil pan, all the way to the top of the head, cylinder head. It needs to feed everyone. It's like you have a lot of kids needs to feed at the same time. So that's very important. That's why now they use uh, 5W20, 020, and uh, Mercedes BMW, especially Mercedes, they recommend, especially European uh, recommendation, 0W40. So that means it's uh, zero is the same thing as 0W20. It behaves the same when it's cold, but it's different when it's, when it's hot. When the engine gets hot, uh, they want you to use 40 instead of the 20. Just make sure you understand uh, what your car or manufacturer is telling you to do so in a minute i'm gonna pour oil here and all these the same level and i want you to watch what happened when when i dropped i'm gonna use the this oil at operating temperature right now then i'm gonna bring the frozen oil that i want to just show you to to bring it here and drop it in the in those funnels I'm gonna fill these uh, the same amount in case if you're wondering where are these hoses, these my oil block very much. This is uh, the 1030. I'm gonna fill it here. See it's full. This is the 520. I'm gonna fill it here. A little bit more and this is the 0 w20 as you can see it's the same amount in each one of them I'm gonna remove the oil plug and see what's gonna happen See what's gonna happen here. The 020 finished first. This is finished second. 
and the tent there is still boring. All right, you can see the difference in viscosity, how they vary. They're all empty. This is finished first. This is moved faster. This is moved less than this. Then this is moved. Uh, now I'm gonna bring uh, the frozen um, or the the oil I have in the freezer. So you see what's gonna happen. This is the uh, the oil that uh, I got out of the freezer. Okay, so you can see it here. This is the 020. This has been one week in the freezer. And this is uh, the 020, as you can see. And this is the 1030. I'm gonna bore these inside here and see what's gonna happen. Before I do this, I'm gonna do the, uh, the bearing on the uh, on a warm or a normal temperature and I'm gonna use the the one with the freezing temperature this is 520 here expect some uh, mess here this is 1030 Okay, just notice what happened here. This is 1030, uh, 520, 020. You could see the one with the lower uh, viscosity, it moves slightly faster. This is not a uh, 100% uh, scientific uh, experiment, but this is just what I can do here in my shop. You can see the 020 and the 520, how they move. They have lower resistance. All right, hope this is clear. Let's get to the freezing stuff. Zero twenty. This out of the freezer. Five twenty. Ten thirty. Ten thirty. Let's see how they move. Do you see that? Did you see the first move when it was cold? It was heavier. Okay. Okay. Let's do the boring here, zero twenty. 1030, 520. Let me get my oil block. Okay, so this is the 1030. This is the 020. This is the 520 here. Let's 
Just make sure it's in 30. That was enough. Okay. You can see them all of them have the same level. And let's just go build a blog and see what's gonna happen. Ten thirty five twenty zero W twenty. Watch what happens now. This is minus eleven degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> this is almost finished. Done. This is still. Boring, almost finished, see it thin lines, almost done, 10W30, still boring, still boring, 10 30. See all empty. This is finished. As you can see, this is still 1030. Was the last one to finish filling the those small uh, containers. All right. I hope you appreciate uh, all this hard work I did. I have to put so much work into this to build this whole thing. I built this whole track uh, from scratch. And now I hope this was a clear picture of what uh, the oil, how or how the oil behaves in your engine when it's cold, when it's or it's at a burning temperature. Thank you for watching.